Screaming Eagles fans, this is Coach Sean Liotta, the coach of the fans, bringing you an inside the film room look at this past weekend's IFL championship game, the United Bowl between the Spokane Empire and the Sioux Falls Storm. We're going to take a look at some of the key plays in the first quarter that kind of set the tone for this game. Spokane came out with an excellent game plan to control the clock, keep the football away from Sioux Falls' high-powered offense by running their zone read play early on and having some great success. Um, Spokane, again, the zone read, you know, they're trying to get numbers at the point of attack. All right, they're get, trying to get a three-on-three -three with a read on the backside defensive end. Uh, had it in their scheme a little bit where they were playing what we call heavy through uh, the read key, where they were kind of controlling the read key and then and that tackle is going to come off on the linebacker that you'll see here on this film clip. Quarterback puts the ball into the running back, gets up inside. Nice little game there on first down. They did a really good job of getting positive yards on first down to keep the sticks moving in manageable situations. Here's a situation where they're in a, a third and medium type situation. They're going to run a smash route play, which what that means is the outside receivers are going to run little wall routes, one to two yard routes at the walls. The inside receivers are going to push vertically and run what we call sail routes, breaking out towards the walls. Take a look at the defensive alignment here for Sioux Falls. You can first of all see that the corner on the right side of the screen is in a rolled up position or tight to the outside receiver. In hindsight, with what we have in the combination there, you know, that corner's rolled up in the safety, the half field safety is in a back position, okay? So that's what we'd call a cloud look, the corner up, the safety back. To the other side of the field, we're in what's called a sky defense, where that you can see that safety, the number two man from the outside, is actually coming forward at the high motion guy, and the corner has some depth. So he's coming up, corner's coming back. So when you take a look at the whole picture, to the right side of the field, what we're looking at, we see a cloud coverage. The linebacker also is going to get into coverage there, into the hook zone, and we have a sky coverage on the back side. So the quarterback, in his read, smartly, is going to throw this smash route to the cloud side of the field and into essentially where that red box is is going to be the hole that's built into that coverage. So the quarterback does a really nice job of, of putting the ball into that window. Uh, he could have had maybe a little better ball. He kind of leaves it inside when you see on the film clip, but does a good job getting the ball out before this corner who's kind of baiting him a little bit, you know, before he can get back and actually make the play on this ball, puts it into a great window for a first down pickup. Big, big pickup on their first drive of the game. Let's take a look now again. They're driving in. First drive. Ball's on the nine-yard line. Uh, they are in a trips, a three-by-one, which is an empty set. Okay, but they're in a three-by-one alignment. Take a look at the Sioux Falls defense. The corner, both corners essentially are up in a tight alignment. The corner to the wall or the boundary is up tight on the outside receiver, and the corner to the field is pressing what we call the point man or the man in the trips that is on the ball. Spokane is going to come into motion here, okay, and the key is watching what these safeties do, okay, and, and the key is they're going to make sure that they're not getting beat across their face. So you're going to see as this high motion comes, these guys are going to slide or shuffle to the inside to make sure they're not giving up that leverage. The Spokane receiver to the inside does a really nice job of stemming. And what that ends up doing is this creates a situation in their route scheme here where they're going to run the outside receiver on a vertical the inside receiver on the little bubble route, and the guy closest to the quarterback in the trips is going to run a 10-yard out route, speed out, and with his stem and how that safety has to protect his inside to the middle of the field, he ends up being wide open in the end zone. Quarterback makes a great throw, beats the blitz, as you see coming here, and just really makes a really nice throw into the window for the touchdown. Great play, big time throw, uh, you know, and Spokane is on the board early against Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls gets the ball, and, you know, right away, one of their key plays, what they have a lot of success with is their jet series. So they did a really nice job this entire game in setting a lot of things up off of this jet series. Spokane's answer to handle the jet 
early on was to take the strong safety and run him down to the jet to get an extra guy into the box, into the run fit, to mirror that and to try to shut that down. Sioux Falls does a great job with dialing up a play action off of this early in the game with the ball backed up, coming off their own five-yard line, and essentially they catch them in a coverage where they're able to leverage that corner with the post to the left side of the field, and they fake the jet sweep to that receiver coming in motion, and he actually wheels up the sideline. And you'll see they don't even actually fake the jet to him. They just bring him in that jet motion. The strong safety comes down to try to catch him. He doesn't get a jet jam he ends up getting a release up the sideline again great throw by the quarterback over the top and a big big gain you know coming off their own five yard line to kind of get things started in the game here's a rare mistake uh, by the quarterback from from Sioux Falls uh, Brown he obviously was the MVP had a great game but they've got one of their inverted zone reads here and again when I talk about the zone read they're trying to get the three on three with the offensive line you see that in the yellow they're trying to read the player in the green whether he's going to hand the football off to the back if he closes down or he's going to keep it if he widens in this situation the defensive end kind of hung and kind of widened the ball got handed off but as you you can see with the circles in the green Spokane outnumbers the storm three to one there's one receiver out there trying to block three guys the numbers are not in their favor it ends up being a big stuff and a loss um, which is very uncharacteristic of this uh, Sioux Falls offense and that's kind of what had them bogged down here in the first quarter they just were kind of out of sync and missed some big opportunities that you'll see some of those you know a little later on this is a great pickup by Sioux Falls they are in a, a third and about seven or eight situation. Uh, they're in a essentially a three by one quads alignment, a three by one empty alignment. Uh, you're going to see the linebacker is going to blitz here. All right. The quarterback's going to see that the backer's blitzing. He's got the corner leveraged with his single receiver on the back side. And they have a great scheme dialed up here where they're going to run a shallow crossing route across the formation. The inside receiver has stacked. The two defenders for Spokane, as you can see, indicated by the red box with his stem. He's going to run a little pivot route, and the shallow is going to come underneath of him. It's really a great little concept. Quarterback does a great job of reading the blitz. He knows that the flat is going to be open to the short side of the field or into the boundary. Quarterback does a great job of delivering the ball, and also the receivers do a great job with their stem and with running this little pivot route that you see in indicated in the red there that really freezes both of those defenders allows that shallow to get leverage and work across the football field catch the ball and pick up the first down let's take a look at it he stems inside you can see the stem little pivot route shallow comes underneath big pickup on the first down there uh, for the Sioux Falls Storm This is one opportunity where, where Sioux Falls first drive miss a chance at a big, big play. We talked about their jet sweep concepts, things they're doing off of it. Here they're going to fake a jet sweep and essentially run a post and a dig to the two receiver side. In this particular situation, they catch them over leveraging in their zone and they forget about the running back who's faked and he ends up slipping out wide open and the quarterback just unfortunately misses him here or this is an easy touchdown. The ball ends up almost actually getting intercepted by Spokane in the end zone. So that's a big miss for the Storm. They end up having to come out and kick a field goal on their first drive. And it is wide left. So right now on the road, the Spokane Empire are feeling pretty good about themselves leading 7 to nothing. Spokane gets the ball back. Coming off their own end, they get into a quads formation here. All right, so they're four by zero. They have four receivers to one side, zero to the other. They're actually going to loop motion out of there. And they started to get into a rhythm with completing some balls underneath. Okay, a lot of hitch routes, a lot of stack routes. Um, you know, with some of the loose coverage, Spokane was start or Sioux Falls was starting to give them. They started being able to pick up some good gains, particularly on this drive. And then they come back as we take a look later in the game. They try to take advantage with some, some variations off of it. But here's a situation where they're going to loop around. As you can see to the single receiver side, they have leverage, balls thrown, hitch, good pickup. This set up a fourth and one situation. Coach Shackelford decides to go for it. 
All right, on fourth and one from his own 14, and they're going to run some more stack routes here, some more hitch routes. Good read by the quarterback, nice timing, balls out, pick up, first down. This next play to me is probably the, one of the most critical plays of this game, and it happened in the first quarter. It's an unforced error. They try to run their zone read. Running back never really gets the handle. The ball's fumbled. It's picked up by Sioux Falls. And right there, Spokane would have had a chance. They were driving. They had a nice little drive going, would have had an opportunity to potentially go down and get up two scores on the Sioux Falls storm on the road. But it didn't happen. Sioux Falls got the ball there, ended up turning it into some points, which we're going to see in the next video when I bring you quarter number two of the 2016 United Bowl.